under the topic developmental issues we'll be discussing about slums today here are some of the definitions given by census united nations you can just take a look and now we'll understand what exactly slums are so according to the indian conference of 1957 slums are a chaotically occupied unsystematically developed and generally neglected area which is overpopulated by persons and overcrowded with ill repaired and neglected structures you've got a basic idea of what slums are so slums when they are developed they are not planned so it is not a planned development it is unplanned it is illegal it is an urban settlement on public land they grow over a period of time and they grow in a constant but irregular manner they grow constantly because they are a part of the urban settlement and as you know people keep on migrating from rural to urban areas in search of jobs in search of better living standard and so on therefore the growth of slums is regarded as a general urban phenomena and it is prevalent throughout the world the rising slum population is a huge concern for creating urban development policies because they are chaotically and illegally occupied they were not planned in the beginning so therefore whenever the urban development policies are to be structured when the framework is prepared it causes uh, various problems slums are ignored during this whole process of urban development and therefore they remain undeveloped looking at some facts from the census of india 2011 37% of the towns reported there were no slums there and 63% of the towns reported that there were slums in the town so in the survey in the census out of the total 4041 statutory towns slums were reported from 2543 towns that constitute the 63% largest number of slums lie in maharashtra 57% of the slums in india are located in tamil nadu madhya pradesh uttar pradesh karnataka and maharashtra the asia's asia's largest slum is dharavi in mumbai and the world's largest slum is neza in mexico now we understand that slums are a big problem for the development of any city or any nation therefore the sustainable development goals also included in the 11th goal to make cities and human settlements inclusive safe resilient and sustainable under this goal there is an aim to move the millions of people that are dwelling in the slums and to move them take them out of the substandard conditions and to provide them with adequate housing so why is exactly the population of slums growing so the first is population explosion we know that the people dwelling in slums they are not very educated they are not very aware and there is hardly any government intervention there there is a lack of medical facilities as, uh, as well and they keep on migrating from the rural areas to the urban areas in hopes of getting a better job and a better life therefore the first reason is and the foremost reason is population explosion next is poverty poverty is also a very important factor because they move to the urban areas in search of jobs but they uh, do not exactly know the state and the atrocities that come uh, to them when they try to find jobs in urban areas there is a shortage of land where these people can be accommodated inefficient local government bodies there is a very strong role of local government bodies to play when it comes down to slums and they hardly pay attention to their needs therefore the inefficiency of local government bodies is also one of the big reasons red tapism in land development programs 
the land that is acquired by the slums they hardly get any attention by the development and they are not a part of any of the developmental schemes social stratification also uh, constitutes to be one of the important factors many of the people who belong to the minority groups or who belong to scsts they willingly choose uh, they willingly dwell in slums because of the social stratification that is present in our country lack of political will the political institution hardly shows any interest in the development of such areas and therefore they remain undeveloped and backward due to this there are many issues which are related to slums and the people dwelling there for example many slum communities are not officially gazetted as residential areas therefore they remain underrepresented or unrepresented in census and also in other national sampling they are hard to reach groups they are often the victims of displacement where there is a new development program or a new infrastructure program then they are prone to displacement there are various problems related to sanitation and hygiene and they often fall ill because of waterborne diseases like cholera there is a big problem of lack of education child marriage high infant mortality rate because of malnutrition and uh, there is also it is also a hub of crimes because the people there where they are not able to earn for themselves when they are not able to find jobs they take different paths different routes and they get involved in do some or the other type of criminal activities the position of women in such areas is very poor they are um uh, seldom the victim of victims of domestic violence they are forced to bear many children they are forced into prostitution to earn for the family child labor is also one of the very um, uh, big issues related to slums the children are forced to go out and do some kind of labor in order to earn money for the family some of the government initiatives in order to curb the problems in slums are amrut scheme that is the atal mission for rejuvenation and urban transform uh, urban transformation it helps to build a gap between infrastructural necessity and its accessibility hriday that is the national heritage city development and augmentation yojana it aims to preserve and develop holistically the heritage cities of india smart city mission it aims to create smart cities by focusing on basic amenities like education health services e governance sustainable development safety security it accessibility etc next is the housing for all by 2022 it aims to construct houses for some slum dwellers under the slum rehabilitation scheme and provides loans at subsidized rates for economically weaker sections the clean india mission or swachh bharat mission aims to improve cleanliness and sanitation all over the country so this is about slums and the developmental issues related to slums now let us discuss some questions question number 1 is a ghetto is now the word ghetto is just another word for slums and it is a slum section of an american city the members of this ghetto belong to minority groups and they are forced by social or economic pressure to reside there therefore the answer will be option number 1 only the slum section of an american city this option is right question number 2 in order to tackle the growing issues of slums which of these methods can be adopted so if you will see if we give a higher and stable income to the slum dwellers then they'll be able to have a good life and a good living standard second development of infrastructure if the slum as it is they are developed and they are given some basic amenities and they are given the basic hygiene and sewage sanitation 
if their issues regarding these are solved then they can have a better life pro destitute or pro pro, uh, pro poor vehicles for transportation and easy access should be made available so that they can even go to far off places in search of works so the option will be option answer is option number 4 all of these are correct